It's time for researchers come. Uh, my name is uh, Nadi. Uh, in this program, we introduce the researchers from all over the universe. Uh, today's researcher is Mr. Tsuto Sakamoto, uh, Department of Architecture, uh, National University of Singapore. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So first, uh, could you tell me your current research theme? Yes. Okay. Um, as an architect, I have been involved in uh, architectural theory mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the architectural design. Mm -hmm. okay. Both are related together uh, quite closely so that they help each other. Okay. When mm -hmm. I talk about the theory, it's not like an uh, establishment, establishment of a method, mm -hmm. but instead it's a, a more like a critical attempt mm -hmm. uh, that uncovers uh, some important uh, issues uh, behind uh, the situation. Mm. So, could you could you show us what kind of uh, works you 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 designed? Okay. Uh, my works are based on uh, the theory theoretical exploration. Uh, so um, let's go to. Uh, uh, okay. My design is related to uh, uh, the theoretical um, the exploration. Okay. Uh, okay. The first project is a, a so-called a perpetuating the real. Okay. Intervention into a Hiroshima Peace Center. Okay. This project actually emerged from uh, uh, my ex uh, theoretical exploration mm -hmm. about, uh, uh, the Kenzo Tande, about the Kenzo Tande's work. Mm -hmm. uh, first, okay, when Hiroshima Peace Center was uh, be, uh, designed, uh, the Kenzo Tande actually published a lot of uh, published in a lot of books and uh, magazines. Okay. He always used uh, this photograph. If you look at that, you know, the, uh, it's, it looks like uh, the ruin. It looks like a you know, bare structure, a uh, concrete structure mm. that stands on a dried ground mm. after the world, uh, after the atomic bomb attack over Hiroshima. Mm. Okay. Um, okay. At the same time, when he published, he uh, writes about it. Okay. Uh, but in the, the, this writing, this text is something about uh, the, the hope for the peace and then a bright future of the world after the World War II. But this optimism never be expressed in these uh, photographs. Mm -hmm. That's my uh, the question mm -hmm. that, uh, from which you know, that I uh, started the exploration. Mm -hmm. Probably Kenzo Tange unconsciously or consciously, but yet not you know, the, uh, written a text. He tried to perpetuate this situation of a trauma, okay? so that you know, they, um, when people come here, come to this uh, building, they immediately feel. And then not only feel they might be affected by that that that, that uh, the environment. So my idea about uh, this design is that uh, oh, after the, the death of Kenzo Tange, I try to uh, explore the way the perpetuating this um, the perpetuating this trauma that Kenzo Tange tried to demonstrate. Okay. So uh, I came up with uh, this uh, basement. Uh, this is an existing building, and then underneath, I try to, to produce a space uh, for uh, the, um, the exhibition of uh, relics. Okay. And then uh, this uh, basement actually continues from a tip of an uh, uh, island uh, all the way to the center, and then I go up. This pattern actually expresses the, the, the original design of a Hiroshima Peace Center that the Kenzo Tanja involved. Mm. Thank you. That's very um, interesting. Okay, so let's move to the next topic. Um, what, what kind of uh, resource you can give to other researchers? Okay, uh, first, um, uh, I have been already uh, involved, participated uh, in the discussion mm -hmm. with a philosopher, mm -hmm. a literary um, scholar, and uh, the film critics. Okay. So we can talk about you know, the architecture through such terms. So in that sense, there is a reciprocal relationship. Uh, other than that, uh, I'm interested in uh, this uh, laboratory design. Okay? Mm. Uh, if you look at uh, this building, uh, uh, this oh. model, actually this is uh, a design for um, um, the, the one of a laboratory mm -hmm. in the NUS. This mm -hmm. is a sci scientific research center mm -hmm. on top of uh, uh, Cambridge. Mm -hmm. okay? Um, okay, the, uh, this building, okay, the theme of this building mm -hmm. is about you know, the how to express mm -hmm. okay, um, this uh, nature of 
the, the machine, the computers, and so on. Okay. For example, at the middle of this, you know, in, uh, in this structure, we try to accommodate uh, the, the bunch of servers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Usually, these servers are uh, the boring box, and then it's hidden behind mm -hmm. the wall. Okay. But what I try to do is to come up with um, the, the glazed uh, room so that we can see all the servers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Imagine if the girl, uh, for example, like a uh, you know, secretary, uh, walking through the server, he, she might look like a uh, you know, cyborg. And then uh, mm. this entire space looks like a scientific, you know, mm. scientific science fiction uh, kind of space. So that definitely affects the, the feeling of the people who are working in, in these uh, the spaces. And then uh, that the effect is quite important for our project. Also, uh, mm -hmm. I'm interested in uh, any design of a laboratory because mm -hmm. uh, laboratory usually, uh, especially these scientific uh, engineering laboratories, they have all the equipment mm -hmm. and then they have all the procedures which can be mixed uh, together and then uh, uh, come up with a certain uh, the design that uh, produce certain effect. Okay, thank you very much. Um, the, I would like to know your future research team. Is that my future research already started um, in a six months ago. Uh, it's about the post-humanism mm -hmm. in architecture. Mm -hmm. um, like uh, William Mitchell of uh, MIT uh, Media Lab uh, talks about um, uh, the, this, um, the, the condition, the virtual condition of the world. Uh, physical space is becoming redundant. Well, uh, despite you know, this uh, William Mitchell's you know, the idea, uh, I have uh, more um, uh, I think you know, that it's, it, the relationship between the physical and the virtual uh, the world is not that easy. Okay. For instance, uh, if you look at the real environment, which is controlled by a physical, uh, controlled by a, you know, the virtual uh, system, okay, the computer system, still there are some accidents and there are some uh, the, um, the, 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 um, the point where, for example, like uh, two systems conflict each other. In that case, uh, this so-called contingency occurs. Okay. And then I think you know, this contingency becomes a very important factor for mm. architecture to, uh, to overcome mm. this problem of a redundancy of a body. Mm. Okay. And then, uh, okay, um, okay the, the project you know, that um, uh, okay, I produced is uh, this uh, Highline project. Mm. Okay. Uh, let me talk about you know, the basic idea. Okay. This is you know, the, um, okay, uh, the line uh, shows the redundant, uh, uh, is uh, abundant, um, the railway. Mm -hmm. And then our idea is to, to put the wood deck on top of it. Mm -hmm. and ah, sorry, it this, this is the, the new, new, in the New York city? Yes, it's in New York, Okay. Yes. yeah. Uh, it's a, the west side of New York. Okay. okay. And then uh, our idea is to uh, the, uh, the locate um, the wood decks on mm. top of it and uh, create a nice promenade. Mm. Okay. But uh, well, promenade, promenade itself is complete. But you know this promenade uh, also go down to a, to a ground and then uh, engage with uh, the existing uh, activities and the programs. Mm. Okay. Uh, the existing program is, for example, uh, the, uh, the prostitute girls who are standing on the street. Mm. Uh, other than that, uh, probably you know a uh, dog run, mm. where you know, all the dogs are biting each other. Mm. So if uh, one of the yuppies come to this, you know, the promenade mm. and try to enjoy uh, uh, the jogging, okay, probably they will encounter uh, with um, these dogs who are barking, but actually these dogs are owned by the, the other yuppies also. Okay? And then uh, these you know, the, um, yuppies, you know, when they run further, probably they encounter with uh, the love hotel, okay? where mm. the prostitutes are working all day and night. Mm -hmm. okay? So uh, in that sense, uh, these activities, so-called uh, recreation or jogging, mm -hmm. is not just uh, recreation anymore. It's much more affecting. Uh, uh, they are much more affected, and uh, they are, they are you know, maybe feeling uh, bad or good or whatever. Okay? In that sense, you know, my, uh, my intention in this project mm -hmm. was to produce some kind of effect uh, in, in, in the project. Mm -hmm. So you are trying to mix a lot of uh, things together yes. to, to produce uh, some congen congen 
yes, uh, contingency. Contingency, yes. okay. Yes, yeah. Thank you very much. To achieve your future research team, what kind of resource you need? Okay. I think um, uh, natural science, the knowledge of natural science is quite important. Mm -hmm. For example, uh, especially with mathematics. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, if you look at you know, architecture, I don't know, we architects always you know, think about, uh, always think architecture as uh, something geometrical. Okay? And then the geometry actually dominates the architecture after the Renaissance, mm -hmm. and the classic architecture is uh, full of, you know, this, um, uh, is, is actually um, is, um, uh, uh, dominated by this idea of a geometry. Mm -hmm. But if you look at, uh, um, let's say, mosque of uh, Cordoba in uh, um, uh, Spain, okay? and then if you look at the other buildings, that actually doesn't worry about uh, uh, this uh, proportion. It doesn't worry about the size of a uh, parts. Okay? It actually can be expanded or can be shrinked in uh, any way. So it's more like an algebraic uh, architecture. Mm. I think you know this idea of algebraic architecture is very important in the future mm. because uh, this uh, demolition cost is very expensive now these days in the city, and in the city always you know, they try to uh, maintain this uh, the, the, um, uh, the heritage. So in that sense, you know, what we can do is to develop the, the method I and mean, uh, the, the strategy okay, to build up on top of an existing building, and then. Uh, this you know, algebraic you know, the approach is quite important for that, that approach. Okay. Um, and how, do do you um, need some, some any other things? Yeah, well, mutation in biology mm -hmm. also uh, is parallel to an architectural idea. Uh, mm -hmm. For example, I talked about the contingency. Mm -hmm. but the, when the animals are plants and grow, in a certain moment, something happens. And then, uh, it's, changes its own form mm. or it changes its function. Mm. So these are quite important uh, parallel uh, relationship mm. uh, with the Okay. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Yeah. So um, that's all of today's interview. So I'll see you uh, next time. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye. <laughs>